educating themselves about HIV and AIDS? Um, one of the major barriers among African American men is the uh, machoism that exists. Um, it's in the black community, it's more, it's more exaggerated. You have to be very manly. You cannot show weakness. Um, to show any concern about sex or, you know, how is it affecting anyone is sort of a sign of weakness. It's sort of saying, like, admitting that you're almost gay, that if you're worrying about sex or even protecting your partner, that's a weakness on your part. And to be macho is that you ain't going to worry about it. You're just going to hit it when you want to and deal with the consequences later. HIV is a strange disease to many people, and many people have developed their own ideas about what spreads HIV and how it came into existence. However, throughout the black community, there are many things that people believe about HIV that are simply not true. These myths are spread by people who do not take the time to educate themselves about what the real dangers of HIV actually are. The individuals within the black community who spread these dangerous myths and rumors are at some level partially responsible for the spread of the disease within the black community. HIV is a manageable disease, you know. It's not a manageable disease. It's not. It's life-threatening. It is. And to not take care of yourself is basically attempted suicide, you know. It is. Um, one of the most common myths is that you can only get it if you take it up the ass, that if you put a condom on, it'll protect you, regardless of whether you put the condom on right or whether you're using any kind of lubricants or oil-based lubricants, as long as you got a condom, it's gonna protect you. Um, that as long as you pull out and withdraw, you won't give it to anybody. Um, just a lot of misinformation uh, about the sexual act itself.